It was something that I've never expected to see in Georgia, ever. Literally, it was like hitting a tree stump. And I just see this explosion come out of the water, and as soon as I found out, and I, and I knew what it was, I was on the phone with the biologist, talking to them, Dan Hart, trying to figure out what are we going to do about this. When I had him on the uh, dock, I could hear him like taking a gulp of breath there, which was really weird, which I never heard a fish do before. That was the first time I held one, and it was strong. Like it was really like muscular, but it was really slimy too, so it was really hard to hold on. It really was. You were crossing me out so much. <laughs> like, I've been wanting to catch one of these for so long, okay? And like I said, never did I expect to here in Georgia. I figured maybe I have to go out west, up north, maybe down in Florida, because I heard about them being in Florida. Never in a million, de- a million years did I expect to catch one in Georgia, and never in two million years did I expect to catch one like here in Gwinnett County. A lot of people were saying, you probably saw a bowfin, and like literally the next day when I saw it, the first day, the next day I went out there, um, saw a smaller one, noticed the anal fin was a lot longer, and I'm, I was like, I was almost like 98 for sure that I saw a snakehead. And of course, obviously, proof's in the pudding now, you know, pictures don't lie. So did you kill it? No. You didn't kill it? No, I didn't kill it. Did not you, kill you, it. DNR says kill it. DNR says kill it, okay? But I was trying to weigh it, and when it like thrusted violently, broke my scale, nothing I can do. Back in the water? Back in the water. Nothing I can do about that. So that's why I was actually headed back out there again today because I told the biologist that if I get it again, you're going to be the first person I call.